You probably know that alcohol slows down weight loss, but you don't want to quit it. Well, you're in luck, my friend, because today I'm going to share with you the best alcoholic drinks that you can take and still lose weight. But remember that you still have to practice moderation. If you drink these drinks excessively, you're going to gain weight and ruin your overall health. So first we're going to look into how alcohol slows down weight loss, then I'll share these drinks. So how does alcohol slow down weight loss? The first way is that it has empty calories. This means that alcohol has calories but no nutrients. And these calories will eventually lead to weight gain. The number two is that it slows down metabolization of fats, carbs, and protein. Your liver metabolizes these foods. Now when you drink alcohol, it first has to metabolize the alcohol, which slows down this process and slows down your metabolism. And when you drink excessively over a long period of time, you may develop a fatty liver disease, which will slow down your metabolism and make it much harder for you to lose weight. The number three is that it leads to poor quality sleep. Now you may think that drinking alcohol will help you fall asleep right away, and that may happen, but research shows that drinking alcohol prevents you from getting deep quality sleep, which is important for keeping your hormones balanced, regulating your hunger and appetite. So if you're not getting quality sleep, you may end up overeating, which will lead to weight gain. The number four is that it leads to water retention. Water retention simply means that your body is holding on to excess water. And this happens because alcohol leads to dehydration and the dehydration makes you hold on to excess water. So after a night of heavy drinking, you may notice that the number on the scale has gone up. Now that's not something to worry about, but it can be frustrating if you're just putting in a lot of effort and realizing that the number on the scale is going up. But the good thing is that you can fight water retention by increasing your intake of potassium and staying hydrated. Then number five is that it leads to, to, to poor choices. Maybe you're following a good diet right now. You're eating plant-based foods, you're eating foods in moderation. But when you drink alcohol, you may decide to eat whatever food you see. You may decide to eat pizza, mandazis, or whichever food that you see. And that is going to lead to weight gain. Especially if you're drinking excessively and are drinking excessively every other day. It's going to make it very difficult for you to lose weight. So one of the ways you can combat this problem is by practicing moderation. There's no way you're just going to go all out on any food that you see if you just have one drink. But if you're having five drinks, chances are you will make the poor, poor choices and you're going to get lots of excess calories from the alcohol. So these are the five ways that alcohol slows down weight loss. I'm hoping that these reasons can actually convince you not to drink alcohol altogether. But if you're still not convinced, let's look into some of the best drinks that you can take. So the drinks. So the best drinks are, we actually have three categories. The first one is liquors. So here we have vodka, gin, whiskey, rum, and tequila maybe. Yeah. So you can take these drinks. They are very low in calories. One shot has about 90 calories. So if you take one or two shots, you won't, be able, you won't be getting excess calories. But make sure that you're not mixing these drinks with high calorie beverages like soda or fruit juice. Just take them plain or mix them with water or ice cubes. Then the second drink here is light, light beer. Light beer is low in calories compared to craft beer. Light beer has about 100 calories for about 12 ounces, 
which is about 350 ml. So that's very low in calories. So if you're only taking one light beer, you don't have to worry much about excess calories. The number three here is red wine. Now, many people argue that you should drink red wine every day because it's going to improve your heart health. And that is based off a study that was done in 1980, which is true. But researchers also argue that the drawbacks of drinking red wine, such as accidents and the increased risk of cancer, should be reasons for you not to drink red wine every single day. So if you're going to drink red wine, keep in mind that it has the most calories out of these beverages. Red wine has about 120 for an 8 ounce, or which is about 240 ml. So it's a little bit high in calories, but if you're only taking one or two glasses a day, that is not a problem. Remember that most organizations recommend women take one, not more than one glass or one beer a day, and for men, not more than two. But they actually want to revise that and reduce it to not more than one for both genders. So these are the three drinks that you need to take in order to be able to lose weight while drinking alcohol and enjoying yourself. Now, what are the worst drinks to avoid? The worst drinks to avoid, uh, there are actually only two categories. One is craft beer. Because craft beer, like 500 ml, 500, has over 200 calories. The other drink to avoid, which is extremely high in calories, is sugary cocktails. Sugary cocktails can even contain up to 1,000 calories. So avoid sugary cocktails. So these are the three drinks that you can take. Now, remember that moderation is key. You still have to take these drinks in moderation and follow the right diet plan and stay active. And another disadvantage of drinking alcohol, especially when you drink excessively, is that it keeps you from exercising the next day because of hangover. So make sure that you practice moderation. Now, if you need guidance on exactly what you need to eat in order to lose weight, check out the six weeks weight loss challenge in the link in the description below. In this challenge, I'll show you the foods to eat and the right exercises to do every single day. And in six weeks, if you follow this plan as I show it to you, you'll be able to lose more than 10 kilograms or 20 pounds in just six weeks. So check it out right now by clicking the link in the description below. Like the video, share it with your friends, and remember to leave a comment below so that I know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video.